you ever find yourself in a situation where you can't rent your very expensive underwater camera equipment on a dive boat, not to worry. I'm going to show you how to take care of this on today's Quick Tips. So guys, we've all been there. We do a lot of dive travel. You get out there on the dive site, um, you get back on the dive boat, and then you discover that your dive operator doesn't have a freshwater rinse bucket for your underwater camera housing. Now this becomes a little bit of an issue for some people. It's really not that big a deal. I'm gonna tell you what I do when it happens. Now, firstly, I'd like to tell you a little bit about why it's important to rinse your underwater housing after a dive. Basically what happens is, as you're diving, your camera housing is being covered and inundated in salt water. And, um, that salt water will, if it's if it stays wet, it's okay. But when it dries, it will crystallize on the dome port. It will crystallize in the moving parts of your underwater camera system. And those crystallize, those small little salt crystals can actually damage the housing and make it wear out early. So we wanna make sure that we don't allow those salt crystals to dry on our underwater camera rigs. So what I do guys, is very simple. If I'm ever on a boat that doesn't have a freshwater rinse tank, what I'll do is I'll bring a towel along. So I've just got this housing set on a towel now. So what you'll do is just take a normal beach towel, take this thing, dip it in the salt water, get it soaking wet. Then take your camera and you're just gonna wrap your camera in that wet, salty towel until you can get back to your hotel or your condo or wherever you're staying where you've got your freshwater rinse source and then you can go ahead and rinse your housing. So I hope you guys enjoyed these, these quick, quick tips. Please be sure to like and subscribe. I'm Cayman Jason. This is the way I see it.